Nearly three months after the central government of India scrapped Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir, the state has now been officially split into two union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. The two new union territories have come into existence from midnight on the 144th birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Patel is credited for the merger of over 560 princely states into the Union of India. PM Modi had announced the decision to end the special status of Jammu and Kashmir on the 5th of August, which was a long-standing promise in the first 100 days of his second term. Jammu and Kashmir has also got its first Lieutenant Governor Girish Chandra Murmu. He is a 1985 batch IAS officer of Gujarat Kada and was the principal secretary of Narendra Modi during his tenure as the chief minister of the state of Gujarat. A big and historic day in Jammu and Kashmir as well as the Union of India as JNK splitted and bifurcated into two union territories, Ladakh and JNK. While Ladakh will be an, a union territory without an assembly, it will be directly administered by the New Delhi. At the same time, Jammu and Kashmir will have an assembly, but the tenure will be only five years earlier. It was six years. There will be change in the laws also. The central laws will also be applicable in Jammu and Kashmir. There will be several changes changes in administration is a huge and mammoth task to do and accomplish and now from today onwards this is the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Former Defence Secretary Radha Krishna Mathur has taken charge as the Lieutenant Governor of Ladakh. With the bifurcation of Jammu and Kashmir, the number of states in India has come down to 28 and the number of union territories has gone up to 9. While Jammu and Kashmir will continue to have a legislature like Puducherry, Ladakh will be without one just like Chandigarh. The centre will be in direct control of the police and law and order in Jammu and Kashmir while the land will be under the elected government there. Ladakh will be under the direct control of the central government which will be run through the lieutenant governor.